Almost all of her interiors at the stern of the vessel are flooded, and yep, there she goes. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are back in Floating Sandbox. It's been quite a while since we last played the game, and yeah, here we are, and uh, today we're not sinking the Titanic. We're actually going to be sinking the Wilhelm Gustloff. So yeah, let's go ahead and spawn it in. All right, so here we have the Wilhelm Gustloff. This ship sank in 1945 with a loss of over 9,000 people. So yeah, quite a significant tragedy we have here. And we're going to go ahead and get this thing moving. So we're going to go ahead, go to slow ahead here on the engines. And we're going to go ahead and press the page down button on the keyboard to change it to night so similar to the conditions that the ship actually sank in so yeah as you can see it is sailing along the water here and uh yeah it will soon be hit by a few torpedoes now to simulate those torpedoes we're going to be using our trusty old rc bomb so yeah let's go ahead and stop the ship and then we will fire some torpedoes at it or well basically put some bombs on the hull but uh yeah same thing so uh here we go so first bomb will go right under the bridge ish area there and boom and look at that the water actually reacts to explosions as well so let's go for the next explosion here the next torpedo impact and it's going to be right near the funnel there and now we'll go ahead and do the last one near the engine area and boom there we go so now we have some water flooding into the vessel and look at that the power has just gone out in the stern part of the vessel which is quite eerie as well and we can also just hear some water bubbling sound effects as well taking a closer look at our damage that we have done to the ship you can see that the forward compartment here is flooding but is kind of settling a little bit if we look aft a bit you can see that this compartment is also flooding and you can see that the bulkhead is slightly damaged and if we look at the stern of the vessel we've actually struck between two bulkheads here which means these two compartments are flooding as well but uh it seems like the ship is not flooding too quickly here so uh we might just puncture a few holes in the hull because i think it's actually going to stay afloat here unfortunately a uh, floating sandbox is not a 3d game it's only a 2d simulation so we only get one plane and we only get to see the ship sink forward or back or to the bow or to the stern so we don't get to see the ship roll over like it did in real life so we're gonna go ahead and uh, just poke a few more holes to get this thing to sink all right so let's go ahead and say that the water tight doors between these two bulkheads were left open uh same with this area and we'll see what happens when these bulkheads are open just these two here we can already see the bow is now taking a significant dip and you can see the water is now pouring over that central bulkhead that was damaged by the first torpedo and it is now just spreading out everywhere all the bulkheads are now beginning to flood the bow of the ship is now flooding and there goes the power now it is really eerie there is no power on board the ship it is night it is freezing cold and the ship is going down and yep here comes the plunge the water has just made its way over the bridge and officers quarters of the ship and yeah she's actually paused there her sinking has completely stalled right there and i think it's to allow for the water to flood into the next compartment and sink the ship the water has just gone over the funnel of the ship there and with a gust of wind the last bit of smoke and fumes leave the funnel itself the ship is going vertical now and uh going right to the bottom here so as you can see there it goes now i do believe the willem gustloff sank in the baltic sea so very cold very violent waters but i do believe when the ship actually sank the waters weren't actually as crazy as they were when the estonia sank for example because it also sank in the baltic sea so yeah as you can see it is now completely vertical giving us a bit of titanic action there as it begins to slip under the waves all right we're gonna go ahead and break open some of the glass here now i do know that this glass was reinforced so that it was bulletproof and it wouldn't really give way under so much pressure uh probably a lot of pressure it would give way but um yeah as you can see we've broken that window there to allow for water to flood in and um yeah she is now heading to the bottom now one feature i do want to check out that they added a long while back is fire physics 
I really want to burn a ship and see if it will sink if it gets burned. And I think one of the ships I do want to check out is the Queen Elizabeth because as we all know, it was converted into a university, the Seawise University, and then it caught fire and sank. So yeah, that's quite unfortunate, but yeah. And as you can see, the Willem Gustloff takes its last breath as it slips below the waves. So yeah, that has been the Willem Gustloff. Now, I do want to check out the fire physics in-game, and I think the best ship to check it out with would be the Queen Elizabeth, because we checked it out in the last video in Tiny Sailor's World, and now I want to check it out with this game, Floating Sandbox, because it does have fire physics. So yeah, let's go ahead and see if this game has a Queen Elizabeth. All right, so I was only able to find a Queen Elizabeth in this game, but I did find an old classic to Floating Sandbox, the RMS Gothic. So we're gonna go ahead and light this thing ablaze. So let's go ahead and start at the stern of the ship with a small fire. Well, a relatively large fire compared to a person on board, but uh, compared to the ship, quite a small fire. So you can see it's already starting to cause damage to the interior of the vessel. And the wind is also blowing it towards the front of the vessel. So maybe the fire will spread as well. So as you can see, it is really starting to, uh, to take over the ship. And we might start to see some water influx as well with uh, this damage section slowly creeping towards the water line. But um, we'll see what happens with that small fire in the stern of the ship, which is growing quite rapidly as well. We can now see that it is spread to the main staircase at the stern of the vessel. And if this area damages, I'm pretty sure we're going to see some uh, water flooding into the ship as well. Because as you can see, this is just a little bit above the water line. So yeah, as you can see, we now have damaged spaces in the actual water line here at basically just at the water line i should say so we should see some water flooding in very soon oh yeah now we're seeing a lot of water entering the ship it's flooding from this main hole here and going down into this hallway where there's cabins and then down into the engine room so as you can see the fire is rapidly taking over the ship with every moment that goes by the fire continues to grow not sure why it's just started to catch here but um yeah, and you can see the water is now overtaking the stern deck, or the, uh, the fantail there. As you can see, there it goes. It is rapidly going down at this stage, and you can see the bow is beginning to come out of the water. And, oh boy, wow, look at that. She is going down rapidly at this stage, much quicker than I actually anticipated. And, um, yeah, there she goes. Almost all of her interiors at the stern of the vessel are flooded, and yep, there she goes. Her bow is now out of the water, and it goes vertical, and yep, there it goes, and it's gone. And I like that these ships actually interact with the water now, that's pretty cool, but um, yeah. There it goes. And, uh, yep, yeah, heading to the bottom. All right, so the last ship we're going to be taking a look at is the RMS Lusitania. This was built by Tim Can and another user, I believe. And I'll have a link to his channel in the top right corner. But he makes some really cool ships for floating sandbox. So, yeah, check them out. So, we're going to go ahead and we are going to sink the Lusitania. So, let's go ahead and place an explosive right here and detonate it. So, here we go. And boom. So, that seems to have done nothing um maybe we can open the hole just a little bit by placing three explosives let's find out and boom there we go that's a little more accurate we're getting some stress fractures just below the number one funnel and as you can see it is really beginning to take on water now so it's only been a few seconds after that main explosion there and you can already see that water is now beginning to trickle its way aft but it's actually stopped flooding forward so that's quite interesting so let's see why there and wow that is actually quite interesting so our explosion has actually damaged right along a bulkhead but hasn't breached that bulkhead so that's why there's no water flooding in there but I think we can go ahead and just envision a secondary explosion damaging this part of the hull here. So, uh, yep, here we go, and boom. So there's our secondary explosion right there, and it has actually damaged the keel as well. And yeah, there we go. So as you can see, with that secondary explosion, there's a rapid drop, and the ship begins to sink very quickly. And actually, with that secondary explosion, we're seeing some stress fractures in the hull, which is just allowing the ship to take on more and more water. So as you can see now, the ship is heading to the bottom. 
rapidly going down now and there's a really cool 3d effect happening with the water there as well so that's really cool so as you can see similar to the actual lusitania it's sinking quite shallow here until the end so the stern is coming out of the water and um unlike in real life it is going to go vertical obviously it hit the bottom um, right after it went under, so, uh, yeah, unfortunately here it's just gonna go vertical, but, uh, yeah. As you can see, it is rapidly going to the bottom, the stern is sinking under, and, yeah, there it goes. There goes the Lusitania, going right to the bottom there. Now, I've gone ahead and built some terrain here to see what the wreck would look like if it landed like this, so here we go. And, yep, that's just total destruction right there. Complete and total destruction. Oh my gosh. Wow, it is just crushing together. Oh my gosh. Look at that. And yeah, this is going to be an unrecognizable wreck site here. By the way, it is so loud, I can't even hear myself speaking right now. I think I'm talking, but I can't. Alright, it is finally settling back after that chaotic first impact. And you can see how much debris has been thrown into the uh, quote-unquote air, but really thrown into the water there. And yep, yeah, that is the end for the Lusitania. So that was actually really cool there. Alright, so yeah, that was really cool. We got to witness three ship sinkings two by torpedoes, and one by fire. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.